The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And what do we have going on to today? Well, uh, well, we had kind of a pullback yesterday and then a ramp today. And I think we're in the last throes of a big move into earnings over the next couple of days. Uh, hopefully, everybody can hear and see me now, but uh, I do not know. But uh, that's it. So anyway, uh, as always, another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour, uh, and uh, we're coming to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So, okay, they can hear me in the den loud and clear. Good enough. Okay, uh, what else do we have going on? Do, do, do. Uh, well, um, as I said, I was looking for a bearish setup, or less, uh, let me say in the last couple of days, I've been looking for a bearish setup into Wednesday, and now we're getting this up thrust again. Uh, big thrust, uh, not uh, a lot of juice behind it so far. Uh, we're doing about 6.6 .6 billion shares. You probably need to be doing about nine, nine and a half billion right now. So, uh, do markets go up on light volume? They do, but generally after that they come down a lot harder. But uh, I suspect we're kind of in the throes of. Uh, a, a great deal of options rollover for the month, and that is, uh, what do we have here? Really, just uh, a, a really long options expiration cycle into next month, uh, where today's the 19th, and we actually get into, uh, what is it, uh, August 19th. So we've got a long time for our options expire, and really, um, Kind of looking at uh, about the 10th of August before we even get into the Delta neutral days. So, you know, there's a, a lot of weeks going on out here where things are going to happen. Now, um, what we've seen is kind of light volume. A great deal of uh, that light volume has been uh, the people on the street. They think that they know something, uh, but uh, not a lot of them out there doing it. But uh, they are buying, uh, and there is enough dark pool uh, percentage out there to make me think that they're buying up the market. But uh, the retail trader is not. Uh, we also saw some very interesting numbers uh, to close out yesterday, and that was some pessimism. Uh, we have what I think today is yet another kind of bearish um, Omen, and that is uh, in a bear market, puts falling, for a lot of them are falling 50% or more in price today, which is great if you've sold them. Uh, if you're wanting to buy them, that's also kind of great because uh, they're on a discount from yesterday at 50% off. But uh, again, we haven't had a lot of uh, people that are bearish in the market. We've had one day, and that's all it took to go out and uh, cause a small rally. But uh, there just aren't that many folks out there that are um, – they may be bearish, but they just don't have a lot of short positions on. So uh, we'll see how that goes for the rest of the day. There's an attack kitty in the den. Um, but uh, I do digress. Um, let's do a little history and then we'll move on. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. It is nothing but history and more than it uh, repeating it rhymes. Uh, but uh, 
what we have is uh, on this day in 1879, despite his formidable reputation as a deadly gunslinger, Doc Holliday only engaged in eight shootouts during his life. Um, well, eight sounds like a lot if you're sitting in my chair. I don't like lead coming my way. Still, the smartly dressed ex-dentist from Atlanta had a remarkably fearless attitude toward death and danger, perhaps because he was slowly dying from tuberculosis. And I think a lot of people just don't realize uh, with penicillin and some of the other stuff that came along that tuberculosis uh, killed uh, about half of everybody that's ever lived. We, you know, just in the last hundred years, that's changed. But we talk, we, you know, we look at uh, COVID and all the other stuff. Uh, we're even with that, we're we're remarkably doing extremely well compared to the previous uh, three thousand years of recorded history, or four thousand. Um, and uh, people don't know it, but uh, they've dug up people from uh, left and right. Uh, you know, uh, from the tombs in uh, in uh, Egypt, everywhere, where they find out almost everybody died from tuberculosis over the last three or four thousand years, and only been uh, eh, about a hundred years in the rearview mirror on that, maybe a little less. But uh, eh, the most deadly disease that there ever was, and uh, hopefully it does not make a return. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, and of course uh, you can email me at path at tfnn dot com, and uh, let's see what do we have out here. Uh, okay, got a couple of emails here. Uh, what we'll do though, so we'll go in to start looking at earnings for tonight. Got a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, and, of course, uh, after market closed today, a lot of people are actually thinking about uh, NFLX. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, estimate is 290. And up a little bit, up to the previous high. Uh, some decent volume yesterday, 16 million shares, but kind of gave it back a bit today you got about 13 million shares i know a lot of people are extremely bullish on this stock uh mostly because they just think it's low price now um i am fairly thinking that these guys have a, another six months before a lot changes in hollywood um before everything started heading lower we talked on the show about just how bad the conditions are in Hollywood for production. That is, everybody uh, that has a decent script uh, gets it bid up, uh, that there aren't sound stages to film stuff on. Um, now, for the movie actors, they're busier than ever. They're just getting paid a whole lot less because there isn't that big movie payoff one day from the theater. But uh, yeah, you got some okay volume out here. My guess is they've lost even more subscribers. I'm looking for some downside, maybe to 185 tonight, although I'm not putting position on it. We'll be back in a minute. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Visa Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network at CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. As we get back, uh, Jay and Jay out with earnings this morning uh, came in at two, uh, 259, which is about two cents better than estimates, but uh, not so good after all. Uh, certainly down the volume, all that horrible. No, eh, 170. There's a nice gap in there, but uh, yeah, could it bottom out if it retested 167.26? It could. So that's one of the earnings. Uh, another one out here is uh, Lockheed Martin. Uh, which is kind of recovered from being down a little. Now it's basically back to where it was yesterday, so not a big move out here. You did uh, a lot of these stocks are getting back down to some of their previous uh, gaps lower. On Lockheed Martin, this goes back to the gap higher on the 21st, or excuse me, the 25th of January of this year. Uh, and uh, you gapped up on about 3.2 you know, million shares, got into it so far with about 2 million. So you're going to watch the volume uh, on that. Uh, now back to the energy patch. Uh, Halliburton is eh, still kind of an offshore uh, drill company. And offshore is very hard to insure these days after uh, the, uh, what was that, uh, the one in the Gulf. Uh, yeah, I'll think of it. Uh, but uh, since the uh, oil spill from the oil derrick, uh, what is that? I'm going to say 2008. Is that right? Has it been that long? It's something like that. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Hey, so anyway, Halliburton up a little bit. Uh, BP, yeah, Deep Horizons. Thanks. Yeah, uh, we do soon forget. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's up a little bit. But, uh, again, a uh, company that's based on drilling and has a lot of uh, what's in the United States on its plate. Um, the war against energy continues on unabated. Uh, so, I don't know. I guess we'll all walk and freeze during the winter. But, 
we'll be able to feel good about it and be virtuous. But uh, in the meantime, just setting up uh, probably conditions to make uh, war more probable than less probable. Uh, so not a good uh, f- uh, good avenue on that front. But uh, this is one of my pet peeves, since it's so easy to see the mistakes of others. Uh, anyway, uh, not much going on out here. But like I said, uh, even if uh, we changed in- energy policy around, uh, insurance very hard to get uh, on uh, offshore rigs. And if you're not up and running now, eh, about like trying to get a permit for a nuclear power supply. Uh, power station in the United States just going to be difficult Uh, if it's drugs you want drugs uh, then you can go to Novartis Uh, actually gapped higher today but the volume is pretty light compared to yesterday's wide ranging bar yesterday you had 4.1 million shares today you're up on about 1.7 and let's see what they did 151 uh, reported 156. I don't know what they said, but it does look a little bit better. Uh, now into the banks, we had Ali Financial. Oh, I've got a caller, and we're all the way to Puerto Rico. How you doing today? What do you know? What do you think, Dave? Give me a full report. A full report. I'm about. 50 feet off the beach, it's warm and breezy, and I couldn't be happier. And plus, yeah, there's nobody good. here. It's, it's empty in the summertime, even better. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, not quite Florida. It's about as hot, but not as crowded. Uh, so what do you want to look at today? Taking a look at SPI Energy, if you'd be so kind. Is it, What's the ticker on it? SPI Okay, I'll make sure. Okay, I just didn't have it in my background. So, pretty low volume stock out here. Do you know what they do? Yeah, they um, they just spun off Phoenix Motor Cars. They still own about forty percent of the shares. They make um, electric buses, electric heavy duty equipment, kind of the Tesla for anything non cars commercial. Um, they also do solar panels. They do smart energy grids, little IoT, um, some semiconductors. They're trying to onshore it, like a lot of other companies. Um, when the volume does come in, though, it does run. It's such a low liquidity stock. Um, so I'm just taking a swing at it, wanting to see what your thoughts were on the chart. Well, generally, I don't think that charts say much on low-volume stocks. It's kind of like asking five people who's going to be the president and then saying it's a poll with, you know, plus or minus 5% accuracy. Um, so, you know, that that's my problem. I, I dislike that it came down on more energy than it went up on from your 151 low on May 12th up to the high which actually had uh, about 700, almost 800,000 shares. Uh, what was that back on the 6th of June? It came back down, but it came down. And you had one huge day out here that added a lot of volume. Um, now you're just kind of going sideways out here. Um, one of the problems I have with these companies is uh, you, the, uh, have you ever heard of the Keynesian uh, beauty contest? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Uh, well, it's a thing, and there was an economist that basically came up with uh, a kind of a test uh, for. Uh, he wanted to talk about what things were worth, and really, what things are worth has to do with what other people think things are worth. And so he was. He he basically said that stock market was a beauty contest where it wasn't your job to pick the best looking one but the best looking one that everybody else thought was best looking so you're really trying to find what other people what's that the prettiest of the three ugly sisters Eh, not quite that but certainly it's not who you care uh, or who you think is best it's who everybody else thinks that best right because that's what they're going to buy and the problem I have 
Yeah, the problem I have is that, especially on CNBC, but some on Bloomberg, everybody's out there saying that if you don't have a lot of cash, you're going to go broke. And if you're a dollar stock, you're probably not going to get a lot of cash. Um, generally, you can make money on these stocks, and this did you know, go up a buck. It doesn't mean it can't go up a buck tomorrow. Um, but uh, for the most part, this isn't the kind of economy in where dollar stocks actually do very well. We had 10 years of that with the Fed right. throwing money and, and throwing gas on a fire already. So that, that's it. Uh, generally, right now, it's very tough to get the retail crowd involved. Um, you're going to see some stocks actually uh, do well in this sector. And then that's going to give you kind of the idea that it's time to get back into these cheap stocks. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. Uh, are you still on the line, Bill? I'm with you, Dave. Okay. So, do you have any more questions on that? That's about it. I appreciate the information. Um, so, it's, it's basically, if they have cash on the balance sheet and no debt, and they're able to fund themselves for the foreseeable future, it may be worth the swing. If they don't have yeah. cash and they need cheap funding... Run the other way. Yeah, it's kind of that. Yeah, if you, it's the same thing. If you actually need a loan, the bank's not going to give it to you. If you don't need the loan, the bank's more than willing to loan to you. This is the point where no one's willing to loan to anybody that doesn't need it. 
and always the toughest part of uh, even if we're not in a recession technically yet uh, in a recession itself. Um, I think that there's a great deal of, uh, especially in this sector, companies that, you know, for a, a dollar seventy company, this does. It sounds like a shotgun instead of a rifle, instead of a sniper. Generally, if I'm interested in cheap stocks, I want them to be incredibly focused on one thing, right? That they can, that something can really make out of it. But just reading what this company does too, it's kind of all over the place. I mean, it does a lot of different stuff and, you know, um, can it, continue on i'd have to do a lot of research but it looks to me almost always uh if you're looking at a dollar 70 company uh it is a company that doesn't have a lot of cash got it got it okay well, that's valuable information as always dave i appreciate your time you have a great day have a great day and go over and say hello to the bacardis for me <laughs> i shall don q no bacardi don q Chew, um, is that who it is? Always over the party, Dave. I think it's Have been, you bet. I think it's been, I haven't been there probably for seven years, six years. But uh, maybe I'll go back this year's sailing season. But that would be interesting. Uh, 877-927-6648. Uh, let's see what else we have out here. Okay, um, after the bell tonight, too, we've got J.B. Hunt. Uh, that's probably going to tell us uh, a bit about how what's going on. Um, I tend to listen to the radio when I'm driving around after the show, going to the grocery store, picking up stuff, uh, and uh, coming back and then start running. Oh, Okay, got somebody. I've got more private messaging systems running on my machine today than I think I ever have. Wow, that was loud. Um, I felt like I got bit, but that was by Slack. Um, anyway, the uh, J.B. Hunt, nice move up here. Anyway, I was listening to these uh, guys talk on the radio, or there's one guy talking uh, as a local radio station, I think after six or something. Uh, anyway, he was talking about uh, having to run his truck, but them not offering any more cash uh, for the fuel. And so he was basically, they were all kind of doing a, a walkout or finding other people to go to um, and uh, finding uh, different companies to drive for. Apparently, it's hard to get truck drivers. So I don't know which one this is going to go. And he's back. <laughs> but... Uh, Anyway, it uh, it's going to be interesting. If there was one that I was going to listen to about what they're saying tonight about how things are going, it would probably be J.B. Hunt. Most everybody else will probably be somewhat cryptic. But uh, they're either going to say uh, the uh, price of fuel is doing this or that or the other, and the ability to actually get truck drivers is causing supply chain issues or the ability to actually buy a truck or you know all the other things that go into it but uh if there was one i was looking at um that's it uh 877-927-6648 and path at tfnn.com okay what else do we have out here so we looked at jb hunt um i don't think that says much Okay, let's go ahead and look at tomorrow's as we look ahead. And, of course, uh, tomorrow after the market close is Tesla. Um, They've already forecast a great deal of problems from the shutdowns in China. And, again, who knows how bad it is. Uh, Certainly, you're not going to know until they come out with the numbers. Uh, So I don't know how you could actually make a fairly – Uh, smart bet on this Um, but uh, it has a bad habit if you're buying puts or calls of doing nothing for the first day and then actually starting to move so I'm not a big fan of uh, jumping on for earnings for this one either 
I'm not a big fan of any of them. But this one I've seen too many times just eat up all the money on both sides and then start to move a day later. So that may be a good one to watch after earnings on uh, Thursday. But uh, you're just in a, a trading range, and so many of these stocks um, – have and continue to do not exactly this, but it's close to this pattern, which is uh, lower highs and higher lows. And generally, when you break out of that, it is uh, going to be uh, something that goes the opposite way. But I don't think we're going to get that. Um, in gaming, Las Vegas Sands also, I think, after the bell tomorrow night. Uh, to, to, oh. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, and again, I hate this pattern when you're trying to forecast anything, but this, uh, this is exactly what we're talking about. You make a, a low on May 12th. You make a much higher uh, high on June 8th. You try to go down and break out the low on June 13th. Can't do it. Try to go break out the high on June 28th. Can't do it. Try to go break out the low on June 11th. Can't do it. Now you're coming into earnings up here. And the only good thing is that you're off the lows with no volume. Um, I think from uh, generally the way that uh, these uh, gaming stocks uh, tend to act, it's all about COVID because, again, all the macaw, macaw? That's a bird, isn't it? Macau. Um, issues are all about that. But again, uh, when you read the headlines, it's hard or almost impossible to actually understand any of it because they don't give any contacts. And of course, uh, if it bleeds, it leads. So the headline, China is has the highest uh, COVID uh, reports since May. I don't know. Did, did they just have one in May and now they have two? I... I I don't know, but I think more than anything, it's probably going to be the reaction to what the, the uh, CEOs say in their conference call about COVID going forward, because I think even in a decline, uh, people continue to bet, and it's a little off that, but uh, the, I think the big issue is just how many people bet in China. I think they got a pretty good idea on the United States about what's going to happen and how we're going to react and work uh, uh, in the, the fall season when uh, the normal flu and then now COVID comes back to haunt us. But uh, this is it. And so many stocks had this kind of pattern and where we probably shouldn't have busted out in the last few days, we did. And that's what probably bothers me most of all. We'll be back in a minute. You still have plenty of time to give me a call. FNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We come back, uh, Abbott Labs. Uh, do, 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 when is this? Uh, before market open uh, tomorrow. Um, this thing has got a fairly nice uh, line that you can dry, uh, uh, draw on a downtrend all the way to 110 today. And it's, uh, yeah, I'm going to say, probably within a buck or two of uh, hitting that line. Uh, maybe they, maybe 112 out there. Uh, Energy is not all this exciting off the low. You had a lot of energy on the downside from June 6 at 117.71 to one uh, for 179 cents on June 16th, and you just kind of had a kind of a lack uh, lackluster move back. Uh, maybe they surprised, but the chart is not uh, highly encouraging. Uh, support comes in at uh, 100, so not much to know about that. Another company, as I said. Uh, that I'm interested in watching and what they say is CSX. I hope someone asks them about why all the fertilizer uh, is not going uh, to the farmers and they're talking about killing their chickens and uh, other things. Uh, maybe we'll find out during that by a uh, kind of a uh, somebody actually doing their job. Uh, in the conference call, but that would be interesting. Anyway, you're back up in CSX to this, yeah, I'm going to call it a, a shelf of about 29, 29.50. It's been going on since the 13th of June. You're back up into that. Most of those days, eh, what are you going to say, 15 million shares, probably on an average. you got about eight today going into earnings tomorrow. So, you know, generally I don't make a lot about volume the day before, but that continues to be it. Uh, another company out here that I wanted to see how it was doing is Infosys. Uh, that's also, yeah, I don't know what the time is on that. Um, I believe it's an Indian-owned company, so I don't know when it is. You're back up into a gap. Uh, that gap is from the 11th down on about 8 million shares yesterday you had about 7.4 today you got about 2 so light volume into uh, the uh, abyss maybe don't know but uh, certainly a lot of cutbacks in India Alcoa uh, certainly love aluminum at one time the most expensive metal on the planet and why it's on the tip of the Washington Memorial uh, at that time, it sold for five times what gold was selling for uh, when they put it up there. Now, uh, worth, what, a thousandth, a thousandth of uh, what gold sells for even today? Uh, certainly, you don't have much going on here. Just uh, consolidating at the lows. Don't see a great deal on that. Uh, another airline company, again, uh, how well they can hedge is going to be a great deal of what going on. Uh, 
slightly lower energy or fuel rates for the last uh, week or two. Uh, kind of interesting, but uh, not making a great deal of difference. Uh, to, to, yeah. So what do we have out here? Crude, yeah, up, up a buck fifty. Still not good. Um, a light volume and a push. Forty-two looks like see, uh, resistance, and you can go on. Got a question to look at Micron real quick. And you got an okay bounce out here. Uh, Sixty-two, seventy-six. Yeah, you're basically in this double gap without a lot of energy, which is not good. You came down on the 13th of June with uh, about 24, 25 million shares. Uh, so the last three days, 20 million. Yesterday, 13 million. Today, 11, 12. Um, and you're right up to where that double gap goes back. And that is one that actually goes back even farther than this chart. We'll go back even farther. Man, that goes back a ways, doesn't it? So, anyway, uh, certainly a single gap out here that you're filling, but it's not uh, with a lot of gusto, as uh, one could say. Okay. Question about the TLT. I haven't uh, talked much about it lately. Okay. Yeah, you're just, I mean, you're just going sideways. So much of this other stuff is. So I'm uh, not thinking much. Uh, thoughts on Disney. I haven't liked it for a while. Um, I haven't liked the company since I dealt with them back in the mid-90s. Uh, they had a rather horrible uh, corporate culture, so uh, they're, n they're never on my uh, A list. Uh, they always threw away, uh, threw around their weight, and expected you to give everything to them for free, and then would chase you around if you actually said that they bought anything from you. Um, you're back up into the previous high to, to June 16th. 17 million shares today. You're in it with eight. So you're certainly not attacking any of this down stuff. Um, somebody in the den thinks that Netflix could uh, do well, that uh, Kitchen Sink is in. I would say that the history of the last 12 years of streaming isn't that you pick up uh, subs in the summer. You pick them up as soon as the weather turns, the kids go back to school. So... Maybe they're going to forecast that. Maybe the market will put that in. But I don't think that you're going to get middle of the summer a great deal of, uh, of love into Netflix uh, or any of these others until the weather turns cold again and people start going back inside. They spent a couple of years inside on COVID, and they're more than willing to spend it outside now, even in a hot summertime environment. Uh, is anything going on from John on CCJ? You finally got a nice move out here, and it may just be a short covering. Uh, of course, uh, I heard somebody in the den, and I don't know if it was in response to an article, about Europe going back and restarting up some of these nuclear power plants that they closed because they found out it was incredibly stupid to depend on either the sun shining or the wind blowing uh, for their power. Um, you got a nice move, but really all you're doing in this right now is going back to about 25, which is about halfway into this big, huge volume gap down. So I don't know if there's much to say about that. I think it uh, you're going to consolidate out here, but I think you know in, in five years, is this a uh, 75 or 100 dollar company? I think it is. I think uh, you're going to have to do some nuclear. It's just when everybody gives up on uh, preaching about solar and uh, wind, which you can't depend on, and you've got no way really to store it uh, for the evening when the sun's not shining or when the wind's not blowing. And uh, unfortunately, too many places 
at least in the United States, are like that, but others too. A quick look at the IBB when we come back. and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we come back, uh, getting ready to wrap the day up, a um, lot of earnings the next couple of days. Even the uh, company that held up probably the best this year, IBM, uh, of course, uh, gets the loser horn this day. And the, probably the only good thing is you get a chance to buy it lower. If you wanted to come back uh, against this thing, um, really spending a lot of money on working out uh, quantum computing, and that really hasn't uh, started to take shape yet. My guess is the government contracts are going to come in shortly on that. Um, but uh, yeah, when the best company or the strongest uh, tech company can't hold up, you want to be 
uh, thinking that maybe uh, there's a little uh, dark clouds on the horizon out there. And, of course, I think a lot of people are betting on better. Um, I'm thinking that we might be topping out right around this area. Again, looking for confirmation of that in a much uh, more complicated pattern that we've uh, discussed in the past. Anyway, uh, that's kind of about it. Let's take a look at the volume because, uh, again, one of the things I was looking at out here was you really just not getting a lot of juice either up or down. And today we're doing about 7.6 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape. Really, I think you need about 12, 13 billion shares. We're probably going to come out with about 10 and a half billion shares. So there hadn't been a real good uh, signal out there other than the move higher and not picking up any more volume. Um, had one day of shorts. I, I imagine they all ran out today. So there's still not many shorts in the market, at least in my opinion. We'll see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.